Hey, come on in. We just getting started. Sorry I'm a little late. It's going to be live as well. So I wanted to catch their live as well too. But um, I wanted to talk to you guys about YouTube. If you have a platform, you are who I want to talk to. And also those who don't have a platform, I want to know why you haven't started your platform yet. Let me make sure my... Let me, please let me know if you can hear me okay. I think uh looks like it's... <clears throat> looks like it's... Um, hmm, a little bit of fuzzy right now. So let me know if you can see me and hear me okay. <laughs> Comment too if you can't hear me. I don't know why it's buffering. <clears throat> Maybe I should start it over. <sighs> let me know if that's better. I got my big old blue cup tonight. I'm out of red cups. I still haven't went to the store and bought some more red cups. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to give people a little time to come on in. So come on in, have a seat. Make sure you like the video on your way in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And please make sure you share the video. Share the video, please. And thank you very kindly. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I got it shared on all my social media sites. Well, social media platforms. That's what I meant. Let's see here. One, two, three. I have like so many Facebook groups that I run, so I got to make sure I got it all on my site. So again, um, let me know if you can see me okay, if you can hear me okay. It says one person is watching right now. So if you can please let me know if you can hear and see me okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let me check this out real quick. Okay. Uh oh. <coughs> oh, it looks like it's coming in good. I'm looking on my phone. It looks like I'm coming in good. So I guess it, I don't know why I look so fuzzy on my computer. Looks like it was uh buffering real bad, but watching it on my phone, it looks like it's okay. But anyway, I'm gonna have the phone lines open tonight as well. So um the phone number is at the bottom of the screen. Five four is that five? See, it's all blurry on my side. Let me go over to my other side. Okay. Phone number 641-715-082. Access code 434-478. Um, call that phone number if you want to call in because I am about to turn on the phone lines as I am getting this set up right now. Let me see. Conference call. This service is provided in high definition by free conference call HD dot com. Okie dokie. I got the phone line set up. But I'm going to unplug the 
unplug the speaker right now because that noise, that uh, elevator music be getting on my lastest nerves. <laughs> they getting on my lastest nerves. But everybody come on in, have a seat. Make sure you like the video on your way in. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already, already, already subscribed. And please share the link. Share the link on your social media platforms. But how's everybody doing this evening? I had to work today. It was a long day at the nursing home. Y'all know I work there a couple of hours a week. <laughs> today was a long day. <laughs> but um, anywho, um, thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to talk a little bit about... <clears throat> what it's like being on YouTube, what it's like having your own platform. And also for those who have platforms, you know, what what kind of advice would you give to those who are still afraid? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it, afraid to start their own platform. Um, I see it all the time on different people's platforms. Uh, people commenting in the chat or commenting, you know, on the uh whatever the contents about regardless of what we seem to be talking about on the live or on the video some people always comment you know i'm gonna start my uh my platform soon i'm gonna start putting up content soon i'm just you know some people is just i think they kind of just afraid like you know to start their own platform and i hear all the time i know y'all have heard it before that people say you have to have some really thick skin to start your own YouTube platform. And I know one person in particular, he had asked me, we like Facebook friends. And so we went to high school together too. So we've been known, known each other for many years. Um, saw each other a few months back because him and I, along with another uh, number of people, are... Uh, on the the committee for our high school reunions. So uh, we was working together with that, you know, over the last year. And he noticed that I have a YouTube platform. And so he asked me, like, you know, how would I get started? Or what do you recommend? Or which route do I go? A lot of people who have YouTube um, uh, channels don't even know they have a YouTube channel. Like, people ask me, if somebody else asked me the other day, could you show me, could you help me how to start my YouTube channel? <laughs> I'm like, what you mean help you start your YouTube channel? You just upload content. I mean, it's that easy, you know, easy breezy. But some people don't, I don't know, I guess they see um, all these platforms with thousands and thousands and millions of subscribers. And they think that it's something, you know, really difficult that they need to do to jump onto the YouTube streets. So they just sit back and watch it like lurking. <laughs> Some people participate on people's lives or, you know, uh, when people upload videos, you know, they comment in the chat, but they still, um, are afraid or not sometimes maybe not afraid but not you know sure if that's the route they want to take um everybody come on in make sure you like the video subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and please make sure you share the live please share it on your facebook uh on your twitter you know whatever social media sites that you use but again um uh, for those of you who just getting in uh, so you don't have to rewind and figure out what the heck we talking about. But as you notice from the title of the move of the movie of the YouTube live, it's called YouTube One on One. Um, if you scared, or should I say, if you scared, go to church. Um, and we're just discussing so far, like you know, what reason or what made you start your YouTube platform? Uh, what is your platform all about? Um, or what motivated you to start your platform. And for those of you who have not started your platforms yet, who have been thinking about it, you know, why haven't you? Like, why haven't you? I see it a lot of time in people chats and people lives, people commenting in the comment section. Um, I'm scared to start my YouTube channel or I'm nervous or, you know, all this beef out here, these YouTube streets is cray cray. 
And that's very true. <laughs> that's very true. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. When I first um, started, uh, you know, watching YouTube videos and stuff, um, at first, as a matter of fact, it was funny because at first I just started watching YouTube mainly uh, like I would be on Facebook or Twitter or something like that. And I would see a link and it would say something interesting and I would just click on it. And I would just watch it. It might be like a crazy dance or a comedy skit or, you know, something stupid, something stupid, funny, you know, something like that. And sometimes something serious or uh, a recipe or, you know, something like that. So I never would just go on YouTube and just sit there and just watch videos after videos and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I actually... Um, Actually, you know, some of you guys know uh, I advertise it sometimes, um, especially on Miss Gina's Queen of Talk, because uh, she has like networking parties. And we just had one yesterday. For those of you who were at her networking party, let me know what you thought about that, too. Uh, I'll be advertising about that as well, because Miss Gina, Queen of Talk, I've been following her or um, subscribed to her for a while. And she's a really cool lady from the shy. And she likes supporting, you know, small YouTubers. So every week she has like a networking party on her channel or every other week, something like that. And everybody gets a chance to put the links to their platform, whether it's uh, their YouTube channel or Facebook, you know, page or business or website, you know, whatever website that they have that they're running their business from, um, you know, emails, things like that. And I oftentimes put my, uh, my business page from Facebook, which I also put in the chat, uh, it's called Tanya's prime time, but I'm sorry, that's the name of my other YouTube channel. It's called Tanya's delights slice by slice. I will put that in the chat, by the way. I'm over here on Facebook right now. Uh, let's see. Copy and paste. So I just, um, let's see, paste it. Did I copy that right? Oh, and by the way, um, some of my subscribers know also that I have another YouTube channel. So I'm going to put the link of my other YouTube channel in there as well. But my other YouTube channel is called Tanya's Primetime TV slash Media Reviews. And let me, I need to enable, let's see how I can figure out how to do this. Uh... Okay, I think I got it set up right now. Okay, now in the link, you'll see my Tanya's Delight slice by slice um, custom cake decorating page, which is on YouTube. And then I am going to put my other link for my other YouTube channel, which is Tanya's Primetime TV slash media reviews. So make sure you subscribe to both of those channels and follow me on my Facebook page if you're interested in, um, you know, cakes or decorating cakes or, you know, anything like that. You know, if you want to support a sister, go over to Facebook, look up the page and click like. <laughs> all you have to do is click like, you know, to support me. And if you have any questions or anything, all you have to do is hit me up. But I also have um, free cake promotions every month for the people in my local area. I'm in Omaha, Nebraska, for those of you who don't know already. But for those in my local area, um, every month, if you're subscribed to my YouTube channels and my Facebook page, you can enter for a free cake on the first of every month. All they do is send me a number, 1 through 100. That's all they do. And who's ever the closest every single month? When's a free custom design cake by moi? <laughs> so that's kind of how I give back to my subscribers and my supporters. I do that every single month. So um, I'm going to put that. Here's the link right here.
Okay, so I just put that link in there. So I have two links in the chat. The first one is to my custom decorating uh, Facebook page. And the second one is to my other YouTube channel. So again, make sure you please subscribe to both of those. And also regarding, like I said, regarding like YouTube and making that decision to, you know, decide if you want to join YouTube. Um, I would like for some people to give like recommendations, uh, you know, basically like, what do you recommend they do or don't do? And also, and also, like, have you guys kind of figured out how to avoid the nonsense on YouTube? <laughs> because there's a lot of nonsense that happens on to YouTube. A lot of drama, a lot of hate. I mean, there's some great uh, content creators out there, some great commentators out there. Um some very funny people, some very smart, intelligent people, um, people who make items, food, cooks, uh, people who do hair, I mean, make clothes. I didn't ran across so many different type of people. Um, so it's like from lawyers to bakers like me. And like, how do you avoid the nonsense? How do you avoid the drama? How do you avoid getting into a YouTube beef? I mean, is there such a thing as to avoid it? I see a lot of videos of people who say, um, I don't even know that person or I don't even mess with them or I don't even go to their channel, but somebody out there is beefing with them and it's like they have no idea, you know, what happened or why it's happening. And so they try to refrain from, you know, going back at them and doing tit for tat, but then it's like, some people, you can't tell if the beefs are real or not. <laughs> I, over the last, like, few months, I'm like, is this real? Is this for clicks and views? Is this, you know, a real beef? It, it's, it's just so much be going on in these YouTube streets, and a lot of people are attracted to the drama. I ain't gonna lie, I'll be here for it sometime. I'll be here for it depending on, you know, the situation or who's involved. Some stuff, i just be like, eh, uh, I'm staying away from that. <laughs> I'm staying away from that. I don't even want to watch it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to know about it. And then some stuff, you just be like, dang, for real? What is going on? I mean, why? Why? <laughs> then they say, you know, the black YouTube streets, you know, it's, it's a lot more drama. It's a lot more mess on the black YouTube streets. And I don't know if that's true or not. So don't quote me on that. This is just what I hear. This is just what I hear. I don't know if white YouTubers or Asian YouTubers or African YouTubers. I don't know. I wish if there's anybody on this <laughs> live who is of a different race. Like, you know, white, Asian, Puerto Rican, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> if y'all have like the same issues, because I assume if you're following me, you probably have other, you know, if you're subscribed to me, you probably subscribe to other black people. And you probably done ran across some, you know, mess. <laughs> you know, some controversial uh, commentators. And it's like, do y'all have that problem in y'all streets? Do y'all have that problem on y'all YouTube streets? Let me know because I really would like to know that is not just a black thing. And this is why a lot of people are afraid to get on YouTube and to start their own platforms because there's so much mess out there. And it seems like some people just can't avoid getting into situations with other people's no matter how much you try to keep your nose in your own hood, in these own, in your own YouTube hood, people get drawn into situations that, I don't know, are preventable? Maybe, maybe not. So that's why I decided to talk about this today and discuss this today to find out, for those of you again who are on YouTube and have your own platforms, like what gave you the encouragement 
to start your platform. And again, you know, you can say what your platform is about. It might be other people on this live who might be interested in something, you know, that you do. And, you know, you might can pick up a few subscribers or whatnot. Um, again, you know, from sus being subscribed to Gina, Queen of Talk, Ms. Gina, Queen of Talk, by the way, um, I like her because she's like one of my favorite YouTubers. I don't have, I have a lot of people that I subscribe to, but as far as favorites, I really won't call you a favorite unless you just meet all these qualifications that I, you know, like you're a good person, you don't start mess, you don't, I mean, trust me, again, some people are there for the mess, some people are there for the mess, um, it's okay to watch sometimes, but sometimes you just get tired of it, like why are the same people always involved in mess, why? Is it a fakeade? Is it a front? Is it a, like people say, you know, only for clicks and views? Um, these are some of the things that prevent other YouTubers from starting their channel and, you know, uploading their own content because they just think sometimes YouTube is just a bunch of mess. It's, it's just a bunch of mess. And like I said, that's why I said, if anybody on here who's of a different race, let me know about y'all streets. Not saying... I'm not trying to <laughs> divide the YouTubers. Don't don't take it that way. <laughs> like blacks over here, white. So you know how sometimes it be like that though. Like in school work, I mean, we all know that people, you know, tend to click with people that they that you know are a lot like them. Um. So, but I'm open. I subscribe to all kind of people. I just don't follow black people. I follow white people. I follow Asians. I follow, I mean, I follow several Asians <laughs> because they are some really good YouTube creators. I mean, I learned a lot of stuff about YouTube from following them. You know how to do certain things and certain graphics and certain, not saying again that we don't know, you know, how to do stuff like that on our own, but some people are just, you know, they'll pick, pick, pick at everything you say and try to dissect, excuse me, dissect everything you say and make it into something it's not. That's another problem we have uh, a lot of the times on YouTube. You know, you try to be on your own channel and be, you know, talking to your subscribers and whatnot. And then you have the trolls coming in. So... <clears throat> If and I hear it all the time again, if you're scared, if you're scared, go to church. YouTube is not for you. Just keep sitting back lurking, just keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing. You know, if it's not your lane, if you know, you sometimes you just have to stay in your own lane, stay on Facebook, stay on Twitter, stay on um, IG. You know, sometimes you just got to stay in your lane if you're scared, but me personally. I think if you really want to do it, just get out there and do it. Just get out there and do it. Um, I Like I said, I wasn't like... When I first started my channel, I originally started my channel like years ago. Like um, this channel in particular, I started in 2015. But I started off just uploading... Um, different stuff about my family, like family videos. I think I got a video on there of my cousins, my little cousins and nieces and nephews dancing. And I got a few videos on here when I first started from my dance team because I'm on a, a hip hop line dance too. Hip hop line dance team too uh, from here in Omaha, Nebraska. And it's called A Step Above the Rest Hip Hop Line Dance Team. And if you uh, go down, you know, through some of my uh, content, because I just started uploading videos over here. Now, if you go over to my uh, other YouTube page, Tanya Primetime TV slash Media Reviews, I have hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of videos over there. But this channel over here, I just started using recently. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with this channel when I first started it. And like I said, I wasn't really into YouTube. I would just look up things or I would see something posted on Facebook and I would click and watch it. And then I go about my business. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know how I'm trying to think how or what got me started to um, do my own YouTube. I know I was uh, 
I was, I don't know if I was scrolling the YouTube streets and I came across a post. Uh, I know for a fact that in the beginning, uh, for my new YouTube channel, the Tanya Primetime TV, I had ran across some stuff with Kaya and, uh, who was her name? Maddie. Maddie. Madison. T.S. Madison. And this was before their beef started. So, I, I think, matter of fact, I think somebody shared their video. They could have shared it on Twitter or sh they shared it somewhere. I can't remember because I know I saw it and it wasn't on YouTube. But once I clicked on it and I saw it on YouTube... I was like, oh my God, this is a hot mess. This was, I was loving it. I was absolutely loving it. I was like, I knew Kaya from way back, my neck, my back. Hey, you know, <laughs> that was one of my favorite songs back in the day. I'm not going to lie. And I used to play that, bump that, shoot, parties in the car, you know, and a lot of her other music. So, you know, I was a Kaya fan. Um, back in the day. So when I saw the video of her and Maddie and, you know, doing commentary and roasting people and gagging, then I started looking up Kaya's other page because she would kept mentioning, you know, how she been on YouTube and she been doing this and, you know, before she started the Queen's Court or whatever. So I looked her up and I started watching some of her older videos. So anyway, anyway, um, back to Madison and both of them. So I started watching the videos and then it was like one day they, something just happened and they had an argument and I remember, it don't quote me on any of this, <laughs> but if you want to know, I'm sure, uh, I don't think Maddie has any of those videos on her channel anymore, but I think Kaya still has some of the older ones on her, uh, platform. But um, they had got into it, and I, I think it was over, like, some, some technical equipment, or uh, they were trying to go live, and the equipment wasn't working right, or something like that, something like that, and Kaya had got upset, and she left. And I remember Maddie kept asking her to stay, you know, that they would fix it, or they could keep continuing to go live, and then after that, I never saw them together again. And so then all this, uh, I would look up Kaya and T.S. Madison, and I saw all these other um, YouTubers, like, you know how p the YouTube will recommend stuff from, for you because you be watching certain stuff. So they start asking Kaya, T.S., fighting, arguing. They're not cool anymore. You know, all those, you know how I go. <laughs> so I'm like clicking on all these links, and I'm like, what? They done fell out? What? No way. Kaya and Maddie, it seemed like they were just made for each other. They were like made to commentate together. They just clicked. And it was like, it was like a doctor. <laughs> I don't know if I can call it a uh, Dr. Jekyll and Hyde kind of situation. You know, Kaya was like the serious roaster. And uh, Maddie, she was like a little more laid back and reserved, but she was so funny because she was, they would feed off each other. And anywho, if you follow them before, you know where I'm talk what I'm talking about. But after that, that's when I started seeing all these other commentators. And that's how I started really, really <laughs> paying attention to YouTube and stopped watching TV so much because I swear... I'll be telling people who, um, when I talk to people about my YouTube channel, uh, like, you know, friends or associates, co-workers, whatever, whatnot, they be like, oh, I'll never be on YouTube. I don't use YouTube. You know, I don't even watch, you know, TV. I don't have time for stuff. I'm like, y'all don't know what y'all missing. Y'all have no idea what y'all missing because, oh man, it's like, <laughs> it's like, uh, a whole reality show. YouTube is like a reality show. All mixed in one. I mean, you can throw a whole bunch of different reality shows. And I mean, how about this one? Preacher's Wives. <laughs> Does that ring a bell? <laughs> we should have a reality show called Preacher's Wives. I mean, uh, <laughs> I am so serious. Like, 
it's like one big reality show. So I'll be telling people, y'all don't know what y'all missing. And it's not all drama. Like I said, um, some people, you know, have great commentary. Um, they're teaching you stuff. Uh, um, like one of my, one of my little cousins, she's, she's a natural hair person. I don't know what exactly they call it, but, uh, she has natural hair <laughs> and she uploads videos all the time on how to do hair and how to do locks and how to do, you know, all kind of stuff. So everybody on YouTube ain't messy. Some people be just be there for the mess. That's what I'm believing. You know, lately is some people be creating mess to get clicks and views, but I don't think that should scare you off from wanting to start your own YouTube channel. If you want to start your own YouTube channel, you just got to jump right in there. Don't think about it. How they say, be about it. <laughs> you have to, because if you don't, you'll never do. And you might be able to, you know, get a really huge following and you have to find your niche. Like, like they say, first of all, you got to know what you're um, going to be commentating about or what your channel is going to be about. Um, you know, and then you have to stick to it. You have to, just be yourself. One thing I learned from YouTube, I'm a commentator. I do TV show reviews, reality reviews, reality show reviews. Um, sometimes, sometimes I get into the celebrity uh, reviews, like if it's like, you know, something big that's trendy. Um, some people just upload all kind of stuff on celebrities like all day long, like every five minutes they uploading about a different celebrity. And some of the stuff is like, okay, you know, that's really not interesting, but you know, if it's something big and trending, I'll commentate on it or like regular trending news, like not even, you know, getting into the celebrity world, but just regular trending news. Like I didn't upload some videos, some lies of, you know, some girl getting murdered, some some guy, you know, getting murdered by cops. You know, I get into some of that too, you know, the trending news, the real news. Uh, but normally, you know, I, I try to stay in my lane. I don't try to be like anybody else. This TV show, because these one of the reviews I review on, I don't even watch other people reviews until after I've done mine. Because I try to stay original. Like, I really try to stay original. And I feel like I can't be original if I'm up here watching all these other, uh, you know, people who do reviews before I do my very own. So that's just my little technique. And then I go and I watch other people reviews and I'll be like, oh, okay, you know, that's funny. That was, you know, I get a kick out of my love. The people I subscribe to, I really do. Um... So it's like, it's like not no shade that I'm trying to throw because I said I don't watch their reviews until after I do mine. You know, it's just, it's just my technique. It works for me. Um, but then because I tried, when I first started, I did try that. Like, I'm going to see how these people do this, see how they do that, you know, see what they talk about, see what, you know, and, and it was like, everybody was doing like something different. And I was like, uh hold up, you know, they focus on that main part of the show, or, you know, they <laughs> should I focus on that main part of the show? And I was like, no, nah, this is just too much. This is too much. I'm just going to do me. I'm just going to get in. I'm going to watch my shows. I'm going to take my notes, and I'm going to get my commentator commentary how Tanya wants to give her commentary. And that's how I try to stay original. So that's one thing you have to remember when you start your YouTube channel, is you have to stay original. Don't be trying to act like you know, Bob on the other YouTube street or Susie on the other YouTube street up the road. Just do you. Be you and be original. And people are going to like you or they're not going to like you. But one thing for sure, um, you have to you have to know that <laughs> YouTube can be petty. YouTube can be petty. Um, there's a lot of pettiness that goes on on YouTube. And sometimes you're going to think, uh, why are all these grown kids on YouTube? <laughs> I mean, you're going to be like, oh my God, this reminds me of junior high. I'm not even going to say high school. I'm going to go lower than that. 
and say this reminds me of junior high i mean people uh going back and forth with each other and talking about each other and then dragging people family members and stuff and their kids and going behind people and investigating on people and like they the feds so you just have to just be yourself focus on your channel and I'm not going to say that you might not ever get into a beef or anything with another YouTuber. I'm, I'm not going to promise you that. <laughs> I'm not going to promise you that. But what I can say is if you really want to start your platform, if you really want to get out in these YouTube streets, don't let nobody else deter you or, you know, make you change your mind. You, if, you, if you're not ready, just like I said, just stay on Facebook, stay on Instagram and Twitter. And when you come to YouTube, just watch, like, <laughs> watch, like, subscribe, subscribe and share. <laughs> That's what you can do. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, before you leave my little room, my little street, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And please make sure you share the video, share it on your social media, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, you know, and whatnot. And again, I just wanted to remind you guys, if you are thinking of joining YouTube, you already have a YouTube platform. You just don't know it. If you can subscribe to somebody's YouTube channel, that means you have a channel. Because you can't subscribe to somebody's channel Unless you then went on YouTube, created you a username, created you a password, that's the only way that you can subscribe to anybody's channel on Facebook. Then after you do that, all you have to do, find your little camera on YouTube. You can upload videos or you can go live, whichever one you prefer. Some people don't like going live because um, some people don't like people commenting in the chat. When they go on live, some people can't concentrate when people is talking to them in the chat. Now, me, hey, Darian, how you doing? <laughs> We're just talking about why people started YouTube and why people are too afraid to start their YouTube platforms. That's what we're talking about. So if you want to give any advice for anybody um, who are thinking about starting their YouTube channel, please feel free um also i have the phone lines on if you want to call the phone number is up there and the access code uh for anybody who wants to call in but yeah um i was just saying for people who are thinking about starting their youtube channel um a lot of people have asked me before tanya give me some advice show me how to start youtube show me what i need to do i'm like you probably already have a platform you just have to record your videos or go live, or, you know, set it up so you can go live. But again, some people don't like doing lives because they are, oh, Darian, you know what? That's right. We was talking to you the other day, huh? <laughs> About, uh, I knew it was somebody, I couldn't remember who exactly it was, who said they were thinking about starting their platform um, and that's what I'm talking about today is people, you know, trying to build up the courage to, uh, start their own platform. And if they haven't, why not? Like what's stopping you, what's preventing you? We've been talking about how a lot of mess happens on YouTube as well, a lot of pettiness, a lot of beasts. And that's like, not saying that's your reason why you haven't done it, but that's some reasons that people, uh, give that I've seen people comment on other people's channels. That's like the number one thing. Um, <laughs> or some people, like I said, they don't they don't like the comments. They don't like people coming at them. You know, they don't like the trolls, you know. <laughs> so my thing is, like I said, if you think you want to do it, just go for it. I mean, I've had trolls before. <laughs> you said it's your nurse. <laughs> I've had trolls before. I mean, I done seen people like take uh, YouTube vacations from YouTube because they're like, oh, I done had enough. And, you know, this is just too much. The people on here is just too messy. I done seen people's families break up. 
I mean, people separating. I mean, people getting into it with their kids and their children. And we ain't seen it all, Darian. You already know we ain't seen it all. And um, I was saying sometimes YouTube is just like one big reality show. It seriously is like one big reality show. I mean, shoot, you ain't got to watch Basketball Wise. You ain't got to watch The Housewives of Atlanta. You can watch The Preacher's Wise <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I took a little dig. I took a little dig. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, it's, oh, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> but for y'all who do know what I'm talking about, y'all know exactly who I'm referring to. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like a reality show, a real life reality show. But... um. YouTube can be very beneficial if you get your numbers up, you get your subscribers up, you get, you know, to 1,000 uh, subscribers. Okay, see you in a minute then. If you get your 1,000 subscribers and you get, uh, you need to have at least 4,000 watch hours before you can get, you know, monetary, you know, compensated or get a check. <laughs> get a check from YouTube. So, I mean, it can bear, be very beneficial. You know, some people want to use YouTube as their primary job. Some people does it for fun because they like, um, like me, I'm a people person. Like people tell me how you do your lives. You just sound so relaxed. You sound so when you be doing your reviews on your TV shows, you just, it just seems to flow. And I'm like, I think it's just because I'm a people person. I really do. I have always been a people person since a very young child. Um, I, I, I can eat, I can make friends easily. Like, but I also know when to spot BS. <laughs> I also know when to spot BS. So just because I seem like a really cool, laid back, nice chick, <laughs> I'm from the street. I'm from the hood, so I can spot BS a mile away. Um, but you know. I'm generally a people person and I love to uh, talk to people. I love TV. I love shows. I love um, reality shows. And, you know, so it's easy for me to come to do lives um, instead of versus uploading. I actually prefer doing lives because I like the back and forth interaction between people. And I like to hear what other people got to say versus uploading a video and then people commenting under the video after you didn't already left the scene, you didn't upload the video, you know, went about your business. <laughs> so I like that interact interaction, you know, with my uh, subscribers and stuff. But yeah, so, you know, YouTube has a lot of pros and cons. Again, people out there who have their own platform, feel free to give advice for anybody who's thinking of starting their platform, you know, um, Whatever works for you, like as far as uh, what to prevent, what what you learn, you know, <laughs> things that you did when you first got on YouTube that you won't do now, you know, things like that. And for those of you who are thinking about, you know, subscribing, uh, not subscribing, but, you know, starting your own content, your own channel, your own platform, why haven't you yet? Is it because you're scared? Because if you're scared, go to church. <laughs> stay on stay on Instagram, stay on IG, stay on Facebook, stay on Twitter, whatever other social media sites are out there. Just stay right where you are. But continue to support us who have our platforms and who do commentary. And, you know, there's a lot of great, great, great YouTubers out here. A lot of them. So, you know... Again, if you feel like you're ready for YouTube, just jump out there and do it because you won't know if you can until you can't, right? That's what a wise person once told me. <laughs> you don't know if you can't until you can. So, you know, that's just my advice. But anyway, you guys, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you also share. Please share the live, share the video, share it on your social media, your Facebook, your IG, your Twitter, wherever you can share it. Please feel free to share. And also, again, don't forget, if you don't friend nobody, if you don't friend, if you don't subscribe to nobody else's channel today, 
make sure you subscribe to Miss Gina Queen of Talk. She is so very supportive to her subscribers. So oftentimes I shout her out. Um, and also, like I said, every weekend, every Friday, uh, she has a networking party on YouTube. So a lot of my subscribers know about it because we subscribe to her. And she, like I said, she likes to support smaller YouTubers and help people get their numbers up and help people reach their goals. And you go over there and you network. You let people know what your platform name is, your Facebook name, your business name, your website, the link to, you know, go and check out whatever your business is. If you're selling stuff or making stuff, creating stuff, um, you know. Whatever it is that you do, she supports those. And so we support each other. So make sure you subscribe to Miss Gina, Queen of Talk. So until the meantime, in the meantime and in between time, prime time squad, I am actually going to uh, go over there real quick because I know that she had just started her live. So I want to check her live out too. So y'all follow me over there. Miss Gina Queen of Talk, M Z G I N A Queen of Talk. So in the meantime and in between time, prime time squad, until we meet again, y'all know how we do. Stay safe, be blessed.